Five, the federal government has awarded the city of Atlanta a $40 million grant to rebuild and revitalize one of the largest housing projects in the country. 11 Alive's Bo Beth Yates joins us live with the details. Hey, Bo Beth. Hey there, Faith. Well, the Bowen housing development was built in the 60s and demolished in 2009. At the time, crime was high and it was a real eyesore. And now that the city has uh, secured the funds to rebuild and revamp, residents are celebrating. This is where the um, daycare used to be. Longtime Atlanta resident Dewan Robinson gave 11 Alive an exclusive tour of the former Bowen housing development. When I was born and raised in Bowen homes, it was a family environment. And, you know, drugs um, took over like most places in America. The complex was state of the art when built in the 60s. At its height, thousands of Atlanta residents called it home. But crime and despair forced the demolition of the 70 acre site in 2009 and residents were relocated. Born home had gotten to a point where it was uh, filled with uh, violence and I too was torn. Um, I had just lost a best friend the year before. But as part of Mayor Andre Dickens affordable housing plan, efforts are underway to redevelop it. This is a real concrete effort to one, keep people in the community and bring those who have been pushed out back. The $40 million grant from the U.S. Housing and Urban Development is just a start to build the 2,000 rental units and single family homes. The total project is projected to cost anywhere from 500 to $700 million, which would be paid for with a mixture of private and public funding. We want to create a neighborhood where the teacher, the bus driver, and the principal can all live in the same place. And when we do that, what we have found is that we are able to attract the kind of amenities that people want, like grocery stores, banks, access to child care institutions, and that bodes well incredibly for safety. Officials say the community will include a third of affordable housing and a third at market rate and a third for single family. And while it could be years before construction begins, the news has former residents like Robin and celebrating. Being able to come back to the place you grew up at and be able to have um, some affordable housing, being able to see a uh, quality of living is very nice. Now, officials say the deal isn't finalized yet. They say over the next six months, they will be negotiating with developers to come up with the specifics on that community. Sending it back to you guys in the studio.